Hello, and thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel, Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. I know I'm usually live on Monday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but it is Labor Day, and it has been a busy weekend for me. I was a unable to do my YouTube live Friday morning or my Facebook live Friday morning due to some flooding in my basement. Thank you all for reaching out to me. Everything is fine. All cleaned up. Didn't lose anything. Please continue your thoughts and prayers to those who lost so much and still need your thoughts and prayers. But again, thank you for reaching out to me. And then I had my goddaughter's wedding in New Jersey. So Saturday and Sunday we were down in New Jersey. So it has been a busy, busy weekend. And of course, today is Labor Day. I did want to do this video, however, because I could not wait to show you what I have. So let's get started. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. Okay, so for today what I'm going to do is I am going to use the Gorgeous Leaves Bundle. And before I show you that, let me just flip this back for a second. If you'd like to place an order with me, you go to stampersdelight.com. If you'd like some uh, stamping apparel, you can go to stampersdelightshop.com. For instance, my new shirt, stamping my way to my next vacation. So if you're a demonstrator and you'd like to uh, get one of these t-shirts so that you can stamp your way to your next incentive trip, just go to stampersdelightshop.com. Now we're gonna get started. Okay, so a couple of things before. We know it's celebration time. Uh, you do get free products out of the celebration catalog with a $50 order or a $100 order, depending on what you choose. Also, if you join Stampin' Up! right now, why wouldn't you want to, right? I mean, you get $125 of merchandise for $99 no obligation and stick with it that is but I know you'll want to whether it's whether you want to join for the discount or your own business plus you get to get one of these bundles here as an added bonus and there are so many reasons to join Stampin' Up! Um, I absolutely love it been doing it for 20 years plus you'd be on my team I have team chats we have swaps we uh, do fun projects so definitely contact me at stampersdelight.com if you'd like more information on joining the stampin up family and my team now until september 10th you can also join my online class for september which is this bundle and you will receive the dies and also the stamp set all that information is in the description below Remember, you do have to sign up by September 10th. I know this bundle is right now on back order till the 19th, but my class doesn't actually go out until approximately the 20th, so you do still have time to join that. For October, I have my fall retreat, which is either in my home or also online. You can also get in on that. With that, you get this bundle, the sparkle of the season and the season swirls dies plus the little uh, delights you're going to get um, card kits to make eight to ten projects an exclusive tutorial if you are doing it online to walk you through every project and that'll all be in your swag bag with some doodads some rhinestones some ribbon and some other free product from me so again this is all in the description and you do want to sign up for this by september 19th so i can get everything together and you will be able to also get a celebration item with this that is why i'm doing it as of september 19th the sign up so that you can still get a free item in the celebration catalog which would be a 50 dollars item so check out that description also and let me know if you have any comments or questions okay so for a gorgeous leaves bundle, this is probably the last fall video that I'll do. And then we're going to move right into the holiday of Christmas. And I absolutely love this bundle. I know what you're thinking. I don't need any more fall leaves. But when you, want, when you see this, you will change your mind. So let me show you a couple of the cards I did first. I like to call this my simply stamped card. And I will show you some other items that I used. 
So for this one, I have that bundle, the gorgeous leaves. I also used the new timber embossing folder. Let me just adjust, let me just move this down a little bit so you can see this. We'll move this up there. That should have been glued down. There we go. And this is my host code also for September. You want to use that because Stampin' Up! has changed a few things and I can only add the host code to 10 customers. So you definitely want to use that host code for September if your order is less than $150. Okay, we'll add that later. We'll move that out of the way. I use the timber embossing folder with this card, our very vanilla. Of course, I also did a matching envelope. Look how gorgeous this is. And here is the stamp set. And of course, these beautiful dies right there. And you'll see more of those in a minute. I also used, because you see this doesn't have any words, I used the Heartfelt Wishes. I chose this because it's got much gratitude, so you can use it for the um, fall, Thanksgiving. But you can also use it for birthdays, sending love, could be a birthday card, cheers, could be a, you know, an anniversary card. So this set right here has a lot of potential. Okay? All right, so those things I also used in this video. So again, this one, what I did was I stamped everything first and then I ran it, ran it through the timber embossing folder and I just made a simple, sweet and simple, beautiful card for the fall. And you can see the inside of that. I'll have still shots on my blog later and you'll want to check that out. The next card I did, and let me just bring that... Um, Cataloging and again. So you see this card right here. I really, I, I kind of cased it, but I changed it up a little bit. So you can see how I changed mine. I used the Bumblebee Gingham Ribbon. And again, these beautiful fall colors. And the Cajun Craze. And the uh, paper back here, the Designer Series paper is from the annual catalog. But if you can see, it's got a little texture to it because what I did was I actually ran that paper through uh, the timber embossing folder too. And the So Thankful For You comes from one of our other stamp sets, which is over on my other table because I have a class tomorrow. <laughs> yes, busy, busy, busy. And I will put that all in the description below. So there's another card that I did with that. The next card I used, the um, Beauty of the Earth. I love this designer series paper. This is also in the annual catalog, but it just goes so nice for the fall. And you can see here I used the more intricate dies to this bundle. And again, that beautiful ribbon. And this is the bumblebee paper. And then I used our metallic brushed doodads, as I call them, because I can't remember the name of everything, so I just call them doodads. And then, again, here's a beautiful card made with that. Okay, so the, the card I'm going to show you today, I actually um, got from my friend Sam Wheatley. She sends me some pictures of some cards she's working on. And I knew about this fold, but I hadn't tried it yet. And this one is called the Bay Window. And if you look at that, that's why. Because it looks like when it stands up, let me just flip this a second. When it stands up, it does look like a bay window, right? Okay. So I'm going to show you how to make that card today. And absolutely, very easy, actually. Oop, let me flip that back. Pretty easy to use or to make. There's so many cards I want to do for you. And I will be able to do a lot more after I retire from my daytime job. Now, the measurements I used, I changed these up. There's a lot of videos out there with different measurements. But I'm going to use my measurements that I chose, okay? And then, of course, I used, again, that stamp set, Heartfelt Wishes, and I used Sending Love. So thankful for you. This is one of our punches, so it holds it in place. And this is called a bay window. Now, on the same idea. I use that paper again, uh, the Beauty of the Earth, because again, I like it for the fall. 
and I did the same idea, but you see what I did? I put a little window in the window. So this is sending love. Again, that gorgeous paper. And when you open this up, it says heartfelt wishes. And then who wouldn't want to get this card and just stand it up on, a, on your desk or wherever you might want to showcase this or show off the card that you received. Okay, so let's get started and I'll show you how I made those two. I'm going to change it up a little bit. So let me bring in the pieces that I'm going to use. Again, I am going to use the um, designer series paper, Beauty of the Earth. You're actually going to take a piece of four and a quarter by 11 cardstock. Okay, and we are going to do some scoring. Now, I'm not, you know, I don't like the seven eighths, five eighths, all those kind of things, but you will have to do that for this one. So I did a couple of little cheats here, and I'll show you what I did. I took my paper trimmer, and I just put little little dots here. Let me move that cutting blade to where I needed them. Okay, but if you're great with, with uh, the four-eighths, the seven-eighths, and all that stuff, then you can do this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to score this in half. Okay. Now, on this side, this is going to be the front side, okay? I'm going to bring this in, and I am going to score it at three-eighths, okay? So I'm just going to very tiny little score here, three-eighths. That's the front. Now I'm going to flip it over this way because I need more measurements over here. And again, all the measurements will be in the description and also on my blog. I'm going to go to one and seven eighths. So that's right about there. One and seven eighths. I'm going to score it again. I'm going to go to three and five eighths. Right over here. I'm going to score that again. And then I am going to go to five and one eighth. That one I got. That one I know. <laughs> I hate math. And I'm going to score it again. And that's the scoring. The scoring is done. I will need to cut some paper or some of this though. So I am just going to grab my bone folder. And I'm working on so many projects that sometimes I forget to bring everything back to this table. And I am going to burnish this really well, okay? Now there's the one fold right there. And I'm gonna burnish this too. I like to burnish it both ways because you do have to get a good crisp edge. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Do this one. And then this one okay so now when you close this this is actually going to go get glued down you're going to want it like this this piece right here has to be up so we're going to burnish it one more time upward okay. and that's what makes your bay window just like that look at that okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to grab some tear tape you can use Tombow if you'd like. That works also. I'm just going to reach over and grab my tear tape. This actually fits very nicely right here. You want a really good adhesive. Okay. I'm going to grab my take your pick tool. I'm just going to glue that down. So that piece you want to stay down. And then again, this is where your window is going to be. I'm gonna give that another little burnishing right here. Just like that. Okay, now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the inside. And for this, I have a piece of, this is a three and a half by four. And that's going to go right here. So I'm going to do the inside first. I'm going to use my adhesive, which is my stamp and seal. And I'm just going to layer that right in there. Okay. 
Then what I'm going to do is I am going to cut this paper in strips. All right, so what I need is I need, well, first what I'll do is, because I, I don't want to waste this whole thing, I'm going to cut this at six inches. All right, so I still have this piece to use for something else. All right, and I am going to go ahead and I am going to cut some of this up now. So I want two pieces that are one and a quarter. So there's my one and a quarter. I'm gonna grab another one that's one and a quarter. Might need that other piece, I'm not sure. And then I'm gonna grab, make two pieces that are one and a half. So there's my one and a half. And I think I'll do it, have just enough for this. One and a half. One and a half. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, leave me a comment so I can answer you. Now, I have two of each. Now, these have to be four inches, okay? Because this is going to be four inches right here. So, I'm going to cut both of these down to the four inches. Hold that aside. And this is what I mean. So they're going to fit nicely right in there. So I have the two at four inches. And these two at four inches. And those little pieces. Let's see what's on the other side. Well, we can use those for something. We'll just put those right here. Okay, so I'm going to put those side by side up here. And then what I'm going to do is just get some of that Cajun craze. I'm going to go back in here to the 3 8 mark and I'm going to cut two of those. To make it a little smaller, that's fine too. And again, these two strips also have to be four inches. So I'm going to cut those together. That's the nice thing about this paper trimmer. You can do two. They're kind of small, so maybe I'll do them each separately. And you're going to go right to the four inch mark. Cut that. Four inch mark. And cut that. Okay. So now we have our strips. Okay, so let's put that aside for a moment and bring the card back in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put those two strips right here. And again, it's going to be the perfect size for my tear and tape. So let's use that. I will be live again Friday morning and then again next Monday. Okay. But like I said, I was too excited to show you this card. And thank you, Sam, for reminding me about this because I hadn't done one of these yet. Okay, I'm going to go ahead with my Take Your Pick tool. I'm going to lift that up. And the first one is going to go right here. Very, very sticky. Oops. I did not want that quite there. Let me just pull that off a little bit. Well, I'm going to have to leave it because it's too stuck down. You see what I did? So since I left that big white mark there, we're just going to go with it. And we'll do the same thing on this side. This side I will do the correct way, okay? I'm going to do it right in the middle there. Okay, so I have a little bit of white showing. Not a problem. I'm going to grab my two strips, the th thinner strips. They're going to go right here. You know what I say, if I had to be perfect, I wouldn't be doing this. And I don't have to be perfect because I know you love me anyway. I'm going to put that right here. Look at that. Looks fine. I think too many people stress over being perfect when it comes to stamping. These are two smaller ones. Okay, so these are the one and one quarter inches. 
Don't stress when it comes to stamping. This is supposed to be fun, everyone. Okay, there we go. And then I have these two wider pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and glue that one down. Glue that right there. I do want those lined up though. And then this one, I'm gonna put right inside here. It also doesn't help that I'm still tired from the weekend. I'm gonna put that right up next to that cardstock right there, okay? And lay that down. That's what makes that piece right there. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this middle section and I am going to bring in my layering circles, which of course don't seem to be here. Not sure why. All right, let me grab those. Wow, I really was not prepared today, was I? I don't even know where I put them. We might have to do something different with this one. I'm not sure where my layering ovals are or my layering circles. <laughs> right next to me, that's where they are. <laughs> oh boy, now you know why I'm not doing this live. Okay, I'm gonna bring in two of my ovals. I'm gonna bring in these two. They layer up nicely, okay? So let's do those. And let's just see if I have the same ones. Yes. And that's a larger one that we'll be using in a minute. Okay. Okay. So let's put this back before I lose that. I'm going to take this smaller one right there, and I'm going to run that through my big shot just like this. Now, you can do this ahead of time if you'd like. I tend to put everything together first and then run it through. So I'm going to lay that down. And I'm just going to, you see what I'm doing here? I'm just laying that flat there. Where there's a will, there's a way. And I am just going to run that through. I'm not going to go all the way back, but I can go up and down a couple times because I'm going through two layers here. I'm going through my... Um, cardstock, but I'm also going through my designer series paper. There we go. There I've got my little peek through window. And guess what I have here? This piece, and it's already glued down, is going to be my stopper right there. So let's grab some dimensionals. And I'm going to put a few dimensionals on this. And then decide where I want to put this, right about here. So it keeps that bay window open. There we go. There's my bay window, right? Okay. Now, you can see right through here, so I'm going to take the larger oval and a piece of basic white. bring that in and the larger layering circle I keep calling them ovals they're circles I am going to go ahead and cut one of those out so now I have my inside circle Go ahead and put these back before I lose them, like I just did. All right, I'm gonna bring that towards me. We're gonna do a little stamping. So this is gonna lay right here, right in the center. All right, and you can mark it with your finger, eyeball it. Okay, and I just want that right in the middle, so I'm gonna. Just figure it's right there. And there's my circle. So when I open this, you'll see that little bit of circle. Let me just 
So let me show you that again. Okay, so this is where I want it. And you can put a little tick mark. I'll tell you what works really good for a tick mark. Just use your take your pick tool. That's why I wanted to take it off. And put a little pinhole there. And you can't see it, but there's the pinhole. Now it's covered, but now I can see where the inside of my card is going to have my sentiment. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in the Cajun Craze. And I am going to put in here, let's see what sayings I'm going to use. Much gratitude and heartfelt wishes. That's what I'm going to use for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and ink up that. I'm going to put and heartfelt wishes, which should fit nicely on there. There we go. Fits right in there so you can see that. Could have moved it over a little bit. But you can see it. Okay. All right, so that's the front of it. Now I need some leaves. So let's bring in those gorgeous leaves. I'm going to take a couple of the real intricate ones. I have a few over here that I've already done, the smaller ones. But what I like to do is I like to grab them all, and I'll show you why. All the intricate ones. And I like to do them all at one time. So I have a piece here of... This is the crushed curry. These are just leftover pieces that I had. And I can do a bunch of leaves all at the same time. So I'm gonna layer these on here. You see I didn't even clean it out half of these. Usually see you can tap it off and it comes off. I'm gonna make a bunch of leaves at one time so that I have them for next time. Take it. These have a little few pieces still left in them so let's just go ahead and Get those out okay all right I still have room for more but right now that's all I need and I'm not gonna even gonna use all of them but let's roll that up you can also do them up face up works just gonna do that I'm gonna roll it back and forth a couple of times you can also use our adhesives but I don't want these to lay I don't want glue all over them. One more time. One more time for good luck. There we go. Whichever ones may not cut out all the way because I didn't do it face up, I'll use for something else. So lift those up, look at that. Okay, and here's all my dies, which we're gonna be using again. Most of these came out. I'm going to go ahead and poke some of these out here. Not my finger. These are pretty small. And they do pop out pretty pretty easy. Famous last words, right? Okay, so there's one. The larger ones are still on my plate. Up out really easy. I could grab my wire brush, that would work too, but these come out pretty easy, so I don't really need it right now, although I do use it all the time. Okay, let's get these little guys out of the way here. Here's a larger one. You see all of that already popped out. Aren't these dyes beautiful? Okay, so there's that one. And then this one. Just pop those out real easy. Again, I could grab my wire one, but it's on the other table, and I really don't want to leave you again. I was trying to decide whether I was going to do this live today, tonight, like I normally do, or record it, and... I went with the recording because I didn't know if I would still be awake at 7 o'clock. 
I know seven o'clock is early, but <laughs> it was a gorgeous wedding. It was a long, fun time. Still a little bit tired. Okay, here's another one. And another one. I'm just gonna throw those over there for a minute. And of course we got two of these. I'm, I want more colors, so. We're going to do this again in two more colors. All right. Normally, I would have those all done. But then I realize some people may not use our embossing machine and may want to know how it's done. Okay, so I got that one. Let's grab this piece of Mary Merlot. I want... A larger one now this one I'm going to show you the different way to do it you can actually do it this way okay, so that's another way to go through here I have some other red colors there so and sometimes with the more delicate or intricate dyes facing up does work out better another thing is you can look at that you tap them all those pieces come right out. Ooh, look how pretty that one is. I make such a mess. Anybody else make a mess when they're crafting? I know, I know everybody does, whether you admit to it or not, right? Another thing I wanted to try is I'm gonna bring in our ombre glitter paper. And for this one, this one I definitely wanna do face up. I'm going to grab this one, too. Let's get those pieces out. Let me just grab two of these. Look, do it the right way. Do this and grab a couple of those. The fall is so nice because you can use so many of our colors. And the Hudson Valley here in New York is probably one of the most beautiful places on earth during the fall. The changing of the leaves are just unbelievable. Okay, let's move this out of the way and grab that paper. And again, I'm just going to tap this for a minute. see they all all but a couple came out absolutely beautiful leaves go ahead and do a couple of these okay take a few of the, I think I have plenty of leaves now grab all of these back here before I lose them and put those back. I'm just going to put them in here for now. I will straighten them out. Oop, I already heard one go on the floor, but I'll grab that later. Okay, so there we have that. Okay. All right. So let's bring that card back in. Okay, so I have my sentiment inside. I have my little mechanism there to hold it. What I'm gonna do now is grab a piece of white that I've already, this was a scrap piece again. And I am going to grab one of these sentiments that say, let's see. I want much gratitude. Oh, I put it right there. All right, so I am going to grab the, I want Mary Merlot. Nope, I'm gonna stick with the Cajun Craze. I'm 
much gratitude. For this one, instead of using the banner punch, I'm actually just going to snip this off. Since I want it straight, I'm going to use my paper trimmer. Put that right there. Okay. I'm working on it up so that I can see what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna put that right there. Now when you fold this, or when you take that out, it's gonna lay flat for your envelope, and I want that right there. So I'm gonna take a few dimensionals in the middle. Don't want it too far. One more should be good. you don't want to overhang it too much okay so let's just put this right there okay so now I'm going to lay that down this is going to go right on top here just like that All right. love this then I'm going to start doing my flower my uh, leaves I'm going to use this one first I love making this card. Put that one right there. Maybe a yellow one. Just figuring out where I want to put them. I'm going to grab some of the smaller ones now. top of there and maybe one more let's see I have a Cajun craze in here lay that one right there so I have some leaves there okay so what I'm going to use is my Tombow you can use your other glues if you want Tombo is going to have to dry, and it is going to come through that a little bit, but that's okay because we're going to cover it up. So I am just going to layer this down, and then this one, and then this one. You see how the glue is going through it, but actually that's what I need to keep all the leaves in place. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm just going to grab one of my blocks. Set it right on top for a minute. I am going to grab some ribbon. And again, this is the Bumblebee Gingham Ribbon, which is so nice for the fall. I want that a little bit smaller. doesn't have to be a big bow. I want it kind of small there. Okay. Pull those ears. Cut that off. Okay. Let's go ahead and cut that. Cut this one. Okay, so now I have a cute little bow. I might even want it a little bit smaller. This is gonna go right here. Okay, now of course that's not gonna stay down. I'm gonna grab some glue dots for this. And I'm just gonna place some glue dots right on here to keep that ribbon down. Just hide that little leaf there. There we go. Look at that. Can you see that? Isn't that beautiful? 
Okay. Over here, just like this one, I'm going to grab some more of those beautiful leaves. And I really want to use this ombre one. I just think it adds a lot to it. There's a couple pieces that are not coming out. I should have cleaned my dyes, but I'm probably the worst. I know there's probably people out there that are watching going, no, you have to clean it every time. <laughs> okay. This one can go right here. And then we'll grab a couple smaller ones. That one. Let's see what other color we want. Another little one somewhere in here. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Okay, so we'll take this one. Again, I'm just going to put a little Tombow right there. And lay that right on top. It's coming through, which is fine. I guess I'm going to layer this one right on it. And that's enough glue to keep that in place. And then I might just add a little dab. Just a little dab right on top of there. Not too much for this little guy. Let's put him right there. There's one piece that didn't come out. That would bother me. Okay, so let's just let that dry. So let me grab that block again, put that right there. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these brushed um, metallic adhesive dots. Let's see what color I wanna use. I like this color. I want some small ones though, so let me grab the ones that have some small ones on it. And we are just gonna add some of these. Okay, that should be dry. I'm gonna take one of the large ones so you don't see all those stems together. Just add that one there. And then take a couple of small ones, maybe one right here. One peeking out right here is cute. You can do them on the sides too if you want. I'm just going to add another one right here. And there is my bay window. And just peeking in there, it says much gratitude and heartfelt wishes. Let me flip the camera so you can see it again. And when you open it up, you can see the sentiment in there. You could also put some of those doodads in there. That's all there was to it. What do you think? I love, love, love making this card. Okay, so I'm gonna put these all in my little dish here for my to use later on. And I'm gonna stamp the envelope. So let me grab an envelope, and of course I'm using the basic white, and I do need a piece of paper so I don't get it over on my table here, and let's add some color to this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my Sahara sand, it's a little dark, but that's okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and use some of those beautiful stamps, which you can also stamp and cut out. But of course, we didn't do that this time. It was more about the dies this time. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. And let's grab some pumpkin pie. Look at these gorgeous stamps. Put that one right there. And let's do crushed curry. And now I have a matching envelope for this card. 
that's all there is to making these gorgeous cards. So I will bring them back in so that you can see them. And then you can tell me which one is your favorite. Because I like the comments and I like you to tell me which one you like the best. And if you comment and tell me which one you like the best, I will pick one random winner. U.S. only, please. Leave me your comments. But I can only mail to the U.S. right now. And I will contact you and let you know if you won. Okay? So, here's the one we just made. Bay window. Here is the blue one. Another one cut out. And then here's the one that doesn't have a cut out, which looks just as nice with the sentiment inside. And then of course we have these gorgeous leaves. The one I sort of cased and changed up from the catalog. and my sweet and simple stamped card with the timber embossing folder. Let me know which one is your favorite. I will randomly pick one lucky winner to get one of these cards and I will contact you if you won. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Again, I will be back live next or this coming weekend. I will be on Facebook Friday morning at 7 a.m. And I will be back Monday night here on YouTube channel at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to sign up for my classes. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to say hi and let me know where you're from. Have a great Labor Day or the rest of the Labor Day weekend, everyone. And keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.